I'm Jennifer Lynch. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Centre for Research in Public Health and Community Care in the University of Hertfordshire. So my research looks at the use of technology to support older people. One application of the use of AI is in monitoring people and their health conditions at home. And we can do this through smart sensors that help us to understand the people that we're trying to care for, so how they want to live their lives, their behaviour patterns. It can also help us to identify when things aren't going right, if something unusual is happening, and that can help service is to intervene at an earlier stage, so hopefully before people become so unwell that they need to go to hospital. So I think there are many current and future problems that AI can tackle. We have a serious issue of staff shortages across our care systems and across many different care professions, and our infrastructure is certainly creaking at many levels. Older people are staying in hospital for longer than they need to. It's possible that AI systems that we have in the remote monitoring technologies can support people to come home when they want to and when it's most appropriate for them. We're living in a world where we've got an increasingly ageing population and that is something that we should be celebrating because it means that people are living fulfilled lives um, for much longer than previous generations. But it does give us the challenge of how do we care for people that might need more support as they get older, particularly when we haven't got a younger population to fulfil those roles. And for some people, although there are concerns about the use of robotics and AI. A robot carer might be appealing to somebody who's been using technology regularly for their entire life. And I think that in the future, it's likely that if we're getting our social interaction elsewhere, that we might feel much more comfortable about the use of robotics to support other aspects of our care going forward.